So today is 4th April 2023 and the time is 1.22 midnight a.m. I'm sitting with this patient right now. And the story of this patient is he collided. Uh, I mean, I got a call yesterday from a reporter. Uh, and they said me they found a, a parakeet was collided to the wall and he fell down, couldn't fly back with his flock. And they rescued and they took him in the house and they are uh, just, you know, uh, taking care of this bird. But they have difficulty in, you know, uh, in feeding and they don't know what to do with this bird. So this is a baby internet parakeet, rose ringed. Uh, this species, yeah, uh, yeah. This is their uh, breeding season right now, and this is very very young. It looks like six to six and a half weeks old, and uh, so they told me to uh, hospitalize this bird, and they gave me a little, uh, I mean, little donation for buying food for this bird. So half food amount I'll be paying uh, from my pocket and expense of. Uh, treatment the medicines and other things whatever we require for curing this bird that's gonna be from my pocket and after healing his fracture and after full recovery of this bird he's gonna be released back in the same old, old place from where we rescued him because there is his house this bird knows and he has a family yes he deserves to be with them and he deserves a second chance. Yeah, isn't it, baby? Hi, sweetheart. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Can you tell me what happened? <clears throat> you fell down? Oh, my God. You couldn't fly back to your house? Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thanks to that reporter. And the whole family who rescued and who gave me a chance to help this bird and I I am uh, gonna try my best to repair his legs uh, I examined his legs and I found that one leg is fractured the femur part is uh, fractured and the other leg is got paralyzed it's not moving at all there's no fracture yes so it, it's going to take long time for his fully recovery maybe two to three months or it might take more so this bird is going to be in my care unless and until he has uh, unless and until he recovers fully <clears throat> and then he is going to be released at his at his original place from where he was found hi sweetheart isn't it it's such a gorgeous bird hi teddy you're so beautiful. I'm so sorry you got hurt and you fell down. But you're going to be okay. You're not alone, okay? We're there for you. So this is my bed where I'm going to sleep and he's going to be beside me. So then I can monitor uh, every hour, you know, the health and morning I have to track his weight again. I want to check empty stomach. What is the weight? So he's doing nice dropping. These are dropping. There was no bleeding found in his dropping. I removed the cloth from the bottom because his nails are too sharp and it, it was the nails was were getting stuck in the towel. So he is in this paper. Uh, on this paper bed sheet. And he is breathing heavily too since yesterday. So that means he is in pain. I just gave him a pain relief shot. He is, uh, yes, he is gonna get relief from pain. Oh, my baby, just lying. You can see that he is unable to walk. He is unable to move because his legs are paralyzed. You see that? This leg, the left leg, this one is paralyzed. The right one is fractured. You see that? He is unable to move. Yes, I can leave him down. I'm just going to motivate him to, but I need to, yes, 
I need to keep him on soft bottom like this. Yes, baby. You can see that? Such a pretty bird. Here's a baby. Oh my god, yes. Look at that look. Such beautiful eyes. Okay, you're gonna be fine. Huh? You're gonna be fine. What happened? You're gonna be fine. Okay, all right. All right. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. God bless you. You see that? You can see that he's not using his legs. He wants to get down, but he is not using his legs at all. Oh, I'm gonna try my best to uh, heal his fracture and help him recover. Yes, you see that? Oh my God, he's getting scared of me. Just God bless you. 